Alex Ravel, first off, let's start with the news that Luke Norris and Elliot List have signed new deals to stay at the club. How important was it to get those two deals to sign on early on? Yeah, it was, uh, it was really important, I think, to show our intentions as a football club, to, to show people that, you know, we want to reward these players who have put in performances for the football club because uh, Elliot List has, has been here, you know, a long time now. Um, and I think that we we were always kind of waiting for his best performances and at, at times he showed it. But this year, he's really shown us what he's about. He's shown the threat that he is in behind. He's shown that he can score goals. He, 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 he's had more chances to score goals this year than, than probably ever before. Uh, we have to improve that with him, but I've loved his attitude. I've loved his desire. I've loved, I've loved working with him um, and to see him his rise has, has, has been great for us as a football club. And then with Noz, we know that Noz came in in January. He's a local boy, understands the football club and how important it is to the community. So that's a big plus. Um, but ultimately, since he's come in in January, his, his attitude and desire to improve, to get better, to work on his fitness, to work on, on, on every part of his game. And we've seen his rise. Um, he's been really important to us as a as a platform to build and um, you know that there's there, those types of players there's not many around anymore um, so it's really important to get those two done it it, it 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 sets our recruitment off nicely that we've we've already you know we've got our two centre forwards in um, and they'll be here obviously next year to to, to make us build and, and to improve us on, on what we've achieved this year. And there's a really good togetherness at the club at the moment. And I'm sure you'll be wanting to keep as much of that core going into next season as possible. It's really important. Togetherness, we've all, we, I've said it since the word go, togetherness, um, you know, the environment that we work in is, is so important. It's crucial to any, any working industry. But here, because obviously, you know, you, you have certain players that, you know, they want to play, they expect to play. And if they don't, the environment keeps everyone together. So that's huge. So these two that have signed have, have added to that environment. Um, the, the, the players that are here already for next year, you know, that they're, they're good characters. We, that's what we ask for, the, the characters. So, um, and then obviously we have players that are obviously up at the end of the season, but we, we obviously do want to keep the majority of the, of the group together because it's so important um, that this year as well, that these this group of players have been through a lot. You know, they signed, you know, a national league side at the time uh, without really knowing, and now all of a sudden, you know, we we want to get to as high a point as we can with two games left. You know, they've 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 don't have to look down. Um, you know, we're we're looking up, and that's where we want to get to. So they've been through a lot, and they deserve huge huge praise for what they've been through this year huge praise to, to, to lift this club from where we were to where we are now. Um, I'm proud of every single one of them. Um, so it's really important to keep the group together and anyone coming in will have to know that that is where they have to be. They have to be within this group. They have to fit in. They have to work with the players that are here because there is a nice bond here and um, every day they come in, they, they enjoy each other's company and we work really hard together. So really important to, to, to keep as many as we can together. And earlier in the week, Romain Vince a lot announced his retirement from the professional football earlier. Um, the news received a fantastic reaction across the football community. That just, that's a testament to Romain and his character. Yeah, it is. He is uh, one of the best pros I've, I've ever worked with in terms of playing with and, and, um, and managing. He, his character, his profession is, is just exemplary. He's, he, he really is. Um, he came in obviously in the summer. We knew obviously of his injury, but his, his, his character, his leadership, his professionalism is, his, you know, he is the ultimate warrior, isn't he? That, um, that we wanted. Um, and we haven't been disappointed with him. You know, obviously we would have, we want him to play as many games as we can, but, his, when he has plays, he's led by example. He's led by example every day in training, every day around the training ground, every day in the gym. Uh, every single player here absolutely loves him uh, because he's just a, a fantastic character to be around. 
and his energy and his enthusiasm just breathes on people. It spreads. Uh, so he's been incredible this year. He's been a major, major part of this group, although people might not have seen him play as much, but he's been a huge part of this group. Um, and he deserves every single bit of praise from anyone outside of football, anyone outside of this football club, because he never changes. He trains every day to his absolute best. And, and he's the person that I wish I could show every single young player how to be, because he's had a career on what he's done, but also his attitude and his, his professionalism has gotten to where he is. Um, and I believe that he's a real... He's a real idol, in my opinion, of young players to make sure this is how you should be. And, and you can go on to have a career in the game if you if you are as professional as this and, and have that attitude of, of his team first rather than player. Um, so he's an incredible person. We'll miss him because he's he's been a huge part. And, and like I say, he, he deserves, you know, every bit of praise he gets because he's been, a, he's been fantastic. Now on to Saturday and the visit of Crawley Town. I assume the message is more of the same after last weekend. Yes, it is. I think that um, after Saturday, we've had a we've had a tough week. We worked extremely hard Tuesday, and the players uh, to make sure that we we're not on the beach. Uh, although there is not many beaches we'll be going to, I think that um, you know I think that it's really important we finish the season strong. We want to we want to get two more wins. We want to get as high as we can in the league. Uh, we want to finish strong so that next year. You know, we're, we're on a, a winning run. That's what we want to do. It was really important last week we bounced back from the losses. Um, and we did that in a in, in brilliant fashion. So uh, we're, we're, we're all looking forward to Saturday. Last home game, finish the season strong. And, and we can enjoy these two games and with a real desire and an appetite to make sure that, 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 we, that we win both. Um, but only if we turn up with our best mindset, our best attitude, our... our you know, our very best individual performances and as a team, that's what we have to do because otherwise we won't. So standards can't drop, desire can't drop and we'll make sure that Saturday, that, you know, those things don't happen. And Saturday is, our, as you said, our final time at Lamex this season. Hopefully the last time with an empty stadium. Uh, how much of a boost will it be next season when we finally get those fans back in? Oh, we can't wait. I think that we saw from the, you know, from the, the Carabao Cup final on, on Sunday that, the fans, just the enjoyment for everyone to be back, the noise, uh, the energy within the, the stadium just is, you know, has been missing. You know, the, the soul's been missing, really, hasn't it? That you know, that that's how it feels. But uh, you know, the players are going to have to get used to it again because it's been a long time uh, without fans. So the players are going to have to get used to it. But it's important that we finish the season strong to make sure that everyone in the community, uh, you know, can finish the season with real positive minds going into next year because I hopefully we've we've shown people you know on on I follow and things that we've come a long way um, in a short space of time really uh, and that when we return next year hopefully that they'll see the type of football that they all want to enjoy and that they've all missed um, and we've missed them the players have missed them um, and uh, yeah we, we're really excited to hopefully get everyone back and finally just a quick roundup on those players missing out through injury. Can we expect to see any of those long-term absentees before the season close? Well, obviously it's been a tough time with the injuries. I think that, you know, we've had a lot of big players out um, and that's why the group has been fantastic to adapt to what they've done. Um, hopefully we're starting to see this, the good signs back. Hopefully Danny Newton, Arthur Reed, Charlie Carter are going to be sort of slowly brought back into training. Ross Marshall uh, probably won't make it. Um, before the end of the season, um, but it would be fantastic if they could come back and uh, and and train fully next week and and maybe be in contention for the last game of the season. Just as a hard work off the pitch, which people don't get to see. Um, whenever you're injured, it's you know no one wants to be injured. Uh, it's a tough mentally, especially when the team are doing well and they want to be a part of it. Um, so um, you know the we've we've got a fantastic physio here now at the football club who works every day with them and keeps them motivated and, and really works hard with them. So uh, they're, they're in a good place and hopefully we can, um, we can get them back soon. So, because uh, um, we've missed them.